After a year of enforced absence, Rally Catalunya makes a welcome return to the World Rally Championship. For many years, this stop in Spain was the only mixed surface rally on the calendar, with loose gravel and high-speed asphalt taking equal billing. But 2021 will see it return to being an all-tarmac affair for the first time since 2009. The rapid circuit-like roads of the Costa de Roda hills are guaranteed to give us plenty of flat-out driving, but keeping it smooth, neat and tidy is vital to success here. As an integral part of the WRC since 1991, Rally Catalunya has been the stage for some incredible moments over the years. So here are just some of the unforgettables. It was no surprise to see Peugeot's resident asphalt expert Gilles Panizzi fly out the blocks here in 2002 and by the end of stage 14 he had built a commanding lead. A win looked almost certain, but what would happen next? Well, that was something unforgettable. The Vildrau stage has a hairpin section just beneath a huge viaduct where frothing fans gather to witness their heroes and Jill was determined to put on a show. A tug on the handbrake, a couple of donuts and the crowd lost their collective minds. The name Gilles Panizzi had been etched into legend using burning rubber. To top it all off, he only lost 10 seconds with his showboating and he duly took his second win of the 2002 season and his first ever Rally Catalunya crown. Carlos Sainz had captured the hearts and minds of his fellow countrymen in 1990 when he took his first Drivers' Championship title and became the first Spanish driver ever to do so. But success on home turf had eluded him. In 1992, however, he was looking to put that straight. To make things even more spicy, while Sainz was still mathematically in the running for the title, he knew he needed a win here to keep his outside chance alive. The pressure was well and truly on. With his back against the wall, he demolished the opening tarmac stages in his Toyota Celica, and despite losing the initiative when he struggled on the gravel, he still finished 36 seconds clear of Juha Kankinen to take a memorable win. He was the first Spaniard to win Rally Catalunya, and this momentum would help Sainz take his second championship title at the end of that year. With just two rallies remaining, Sainz had a slender two-point lead in the 1995 championship race. He was just ahead of his Subaru teammate Colin McRae. Midway through Rally Catalunya, Sainz was ahead of McRae, so with an eye on the manufacturer's title, the order from Subaru management came in. Back off, save both cars and get both drivers to the finish in the order that they were currently in. McRae wasn't having any of it. He memorably raced by as Subaru personnel waved frantically for him to slow down. McRae finished fastest and was clearly aggrieved at Subaru for wanting to deny him points in his quest for the championship title. However, the threat of stripping him of his seat saw McRae reluctantly follow the team's orders. He deliberately checked in late after the final stage and lost the rally to Sainz. This clearly was not how Sainz wanted to win his home rally. The whole incident left a bitter taste in everyone's mouths. For much of 2015, Andreas Mikkelsen was in a scrap for a podium place at best. Spain that year and Sebastian Auger was untouchable, having built a lead of almost a minute heading into the final day. But a good battle had developed between Mikkelsen and Yari Mati Latvala for second place. Sunday morning and Mikkelsen won a couple of stages while Latvala picked up a puncture to put the Norwegian just a whisker ahead going into the final stage. Mikkelsen finished strong and thought he'd equaled his career best finish with another second place. But Auger was still out on stage and the unthinkable was about to happen. He clipped the barrier and ripped the right rear off the Volkswagen Polo. 
With the finish line almost in sight, he could not continue, and a shocked Mickelson was told by a reporter that he'd won his first ever WRC rally. You are the winner! You have won your first ever world rally! The most successful WRC driver of all time, Sebastian Loeb, had a remarkable love affair with Rally Spain. He won it nine times in total and a phenomenal eight times in a row. With his second driver's title already confirmed, he kicked off his period of Spanish domination in 2005, finishing more than a minute and 20 seconds ahead of his nearest rival and confirming Citroen's manufacturer's title in the process. What followed was an annual demonstration of Loeb's tarmac supremacy. And even when some gravel sections were introduced from 2010, he continued to be untouchable until his retirement from full-time rallying at the end of 2012. Loeb's final Rally Catalunya win came in 2018 when he edged out Sebastian Auger by just a couple of seconds to take the top step of the podium for the first time since 2013. A fitting place for the Frenchman to taste victory once again. Watch WRC Plus on all devices. WRC Plus, all live.